Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. In the last part, we defeated Onox, and now it's time to finish off the duology. Let's go get Princess Zelda! Really? There's always a contin- uh, contingency. <laughs> Convenient spell to block our way. So, Link, you finally reached the altar. Bother. We can't have you scampering about up here. So we've dragged you in here. Hello, Twin Rova, you old hags. The flames of sorrow, destruction, and despair burn brightly. The return of the evil King Ganon approaches. Our sacrifice of Zelda is all that remains. When we call Ganon's spirit into the vessel, it will be done. You can't stop us. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, great. Now the fire's all blue. That means something's gonna happen soon. But first, time for the boss fight against Kome and Kotake here. And now the way this works is that's very similar to the actual boss fight from Ocarina. You have to knock any three orbs into the opposite, uh, color. You need to, uh, throw Kotake's fireball, uh, ice balls into Kome and Kome's fireballs into Kotake. I think you'll need to hit any of them a total of three times, and it doesn't, I think, in a, uh, it's kind of like the Goraya brothers back in our route. You just have to hit them with three times total, doesn't matter who. It's honestly really easy, though it's still annoying. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! I did not think you would get so far. But I shall not fall like Onox and Varen. See my true power! Oh dear. I'll sacrifice you so the evil king can return. And Twin Roba combined is an actual easier fight. The Goron Sword alone can pretty much destroy this. Hit the gem on the forehead a couple times, they'll enter this little stun phase. Get out your Hyper Sling Shot and shoot Scent Seeds into their forehead. I can get two in, generally. And just repeat that three times. Uh, the Steadfast and Snowshoe Ring are really good for this fight, so you don't slip or get knocked into the lava. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there is a form where they can use both elements, but it's no threat at all, honestly. Uh, it's equivalent in Ocarina of Time is a more threatening fight, and that is sad. Because uh, the Spirit Temple boss is really easy. If not a bit time consuming, if they get annoying. Either way, stay cool, Twin Rova. And explode at that point, too. Oh, oh! Ganon's return was but a step away, Link. It is not over. Our rights have failed, but by sacrificing this body, Ganon will return. And you will be destroyed. <laughs> <coughs> oh god. Ugh, all these years after Zero Four and I still put a strain on my throat. <laughs> but uh yeah, lightning striking, the uh, well process tells us that's not a good thing. Neither is the screen turning dark. And neither is a group of old ladies turning into a blue fire. And then into a pig. <laughs> Destroy all. Kill all. Ganon is actually a sorrowfully easy fight. If you have the Master Sword, that is. If you don't have the Master Sword, you can only damage him with your spin attack. Otherwise, you can just slice him with the Master Sword. Uh, Attack-wise, he has a couple of projectile attacks. He can swipe in to strike you with his trident. And he can also teleport you to this really weird-looking blue dimension, but he never did that during the fight. And if it's not obvious enough by his design, this is actually the exact same Ganon from A Link to the Past. In fact, as I mentioned before, I believe, this Link is the same Link from A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening, though Link's Awakening happens after this. Uh, I forget which number of games this is in the series on that timeline, though I'm gonna have to reach up and get my whole story up. Uh, 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 I am Ganon. The evil king. And I'm exploding. Suck it, Ganon. Yeah, that that's a really sorrowfully easy final boss. Onox is harder, and that says something. By the way, I love this song. How you doing, Zelda? Looking good? Link! Has it ended? Thank you, Link. You halted the completion of the rites that would revive Ganon. 
since they could not sacrifice me in their final rite, the powers of darkness could only revive a mindless, raging Ganon. Your power, wisdom, and courage were able to prevent Twin Rova's plan to resurrect Ganon. Now hope and peace can return to the hearts of the, of the people. Thank you, you are a true hero. Let us return to the others. Oh, really? Load-bearing boss? Ugh. Oh no! The castle's crumbling! Now that the powers of Shadow wane. We must get out of here! Ah, great. And then we die. What do we do? Mystical Leaf Powers! Ah, the Leaf Shield. I knew that bro bro weapon was broken. You did it, Link. I'm so proud. Leave this to me. So, in the words of Sonic CD, Teleportation, yeah! scooby da doo wop ba da 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 I should get the Sonic CD one of these days. I love this song, by the way. Oh, yes, it's so good. See, Link? I have managed to help, too. Hey, you're not useless like your cousin. Welcome back, Princess Zelda. Welcome back, Link. Now all is finished. I knew you would find a way, Link. Let us dance together again. Princess Zelda, I'm glad to see you returned safely. Link, you are all I expected. I always believed in you. Link, the three triangles on your left hand symbolize power, wisdom, and courage. These are the mark of the hero who is fated to appear when peace crumbles in Hyrule. With the essences of nature and time, and the courage you possess, you have fought back the powers of evil. The guidance of the Triforce has made you into this legendary hero. Thank you, Link. Aww. <laughs> I love that animation, by the way. Also, if you're playing Aegis Second, the Maker Tree from that game actually gets jealous because, you know, she kind of has a thing for Link for some reason. But, with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of not only Oracle of Seasons, but the Oracle Duology for the Game Boy Color. I'll get into my opinions of the two games as a combined thing momentarily, but as for Seasons, I actually really like it. There are some pros and cons to both games, I won't admit to that much, but Seasons, I have a much larger nostalgic connection to, because I got this one first, and it was actually one of my first Game Boy Color games. The music holds a lot of nostalgic value to me, and I, it's still pretty catchy even on its own. Dungeon design, while it leaves a bit to be desired, as opposed to ages, does its job well, and I can't fault it for that. Storyline, that's where it takes a hit, because... Ages, the characters got development, and the villain was constantly doing stuff. Onox, you saw him at the beginning of the game, then you see him at the end. That's about it. <laughs> Graphically, it's obviously nothing that too impressive, uh, comparatively. By the way, hi, Ralph. Uh... But gameplay-wise, I still have to say it does deliver. While I'm more of a fan of the puzzle stuff from Ages, the action stuff here still feels good. In fact, uh, if you're more of a fan of action games, this is probably the one of the two for you. Though overall, I think that as a combined game, that's where they start to shine. The password stuff is interesting, and I really do like it. The combined storyline, while kind of simple and hijacky by ganon -y, is still decent enough. But it's the combined journey of these two games across 16 dungeons, technically 17 if you count Hyrule's Cave in the Room of Rights. Oh no, that'd be 18, actually. Never mind. It's a really damn good adventure. In fact, if you're gonna play these, I recommend you play them both in a row. So, in fact, uh, combined, these are two of my favorite Zelda games on their own, but combined, they're like my fourth favorite. And I just cannot say enough good things about these games. If you want to play them, there's the original Game Boy Color cards, which I would not recommend getting, because they're 107 and 120 each for seasons and ages, respectively, I believe. But they're also on the 3DS Virtual Console for like 5 bucks each, so that's the way to go for that. So would I recommend them? Oh, hell yes. I have so many good memories of these, and keep in mind, I technically only did half of what you could do. 
Because you can start with seasons and go to ages and where you can get some other storyline elements and other secrets. Uh, as for the placement and the timeline for these two games, they're actually interchangeable. Uh, in terms of where they are in the timeline, officially they are po po uh, post, uh, after rather, the three-way split that Ocarina of Time presents. And making them, in that timeline, the sixth and seventh game of the series interchangeably, because it never says which one comes first. Uh, they're on the Hero is Defeated timeline, along with The Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Zelda 1 and 2. Which now makes me realize all the games I can record until I get a console recorder that works, screw you Dazzle, are from that timeline. <laughs> Minish Cap aside, obviously, because that's uh, before the whole split thing goes on. Uh, in terms of the next Zelda game I'm going to play, probably... Oof. It's between Link's Awakening and Link to the Past, obviously, because those are the only two I can record at the moment. I guess you'll see when you see it. But in terms of my le next Let's Play in general, I think I'm going to head back to Metroid. Though I do realize now that, even though it's only December 17th right now, this might got, go up until May, so I might want to get on the Battle Network series again soon, because that's my summer game, really. By the way, hi Triforce, we've only ever seen you twice in this game. Well, between two, the two games. And now they're seagulls. Okay. Uh, but yeah, my next Let's Play overall is probably going to be Super Metroid, because I should get that one done. And off goes Link on a boat. Yeah, they're going into Link's Awakening from here. I wonder if they intended that at that point. Mind you, it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, that's the end of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and the Oracle Duology in general, guys. Uh, for beating the game again, you actually get the Hero Secret, which allows you to start the game you didn't play first with the fourth heart container. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching these two games. It's been really fun to play these. I hope you're having a great night, and take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys next time.